All right, what's up folks? Back on the road, as you can see. And uh, today we're going to uh, Halifax. Forget the name of the place. Better concentrate on the road. But um, the uh, the food challenge is called the, uh, the ultimate Scooby snack. And uh, no, it's not a giant dog treat. Uh, but it is pretty unique. It's, uh, it's a giant roast beef uh, sandwich. Uh, of course, it's filled out with a bunch of, you know, potato stuff, including fries, but um, still should be a laugh. We're almost there now, so uh, let's get to it. Place today called uh, Morlands Inn, right? In uh, is it Halifax? Yeah, it's Halifax. I don't really know. It's kind of like in between. Uh, and I'm taking on their Scooby Snack, which is an interesting name. Um, it's uh, like a roast beef baguette, right? Yeah. And as you can see, lots of potato. <laughs> if you finish it, you get a free dessert, right? Yeah, you get a free dessert. I can't wait for that. I hope I've got enough space left um, to do that. You think I'm gonna do it? Um, I, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be intense. Look at all this potato. Right, I'll start with the um, the baguette. What's up, Inami? Welcome back. Got another video for you, of course, because it's, you know, it's Thursday night. Well, not necessarily, depending on when you watch, but you get the idea. I love roast beef. Whoa, who doesn't? Roast beef to clean your teeth. That's how, um, that's how real men do it. Anyway, today I'm, uh, uh, I'm just joking. Don't clean your teeth with, with the roast beef. <laughs> That won't work. I'm, uh, I'm doing the ultimate Scooby Snack Challenge today at Morland's Inn in Halifax. It is, as we call in the industry, a pay-to-play, but you do get a dessert if you win. It's a, it's a crusty baguette, so um, <coughs> it's, you know, it's, it's pretty hard to, to eat quick. Inevitable. It was, it was going to fall apart eventually. I don't know if you can see the steam bar. So lovely and hot. <laughs> yes, fine, thank you. Oh, the look on the face. <laughs> I'm assuming that means my beer is a mess. Yeah, it could be. It usually is. Could equally be the fact that she's just generally disgusted at a 35 year old man baby stuff in his face. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, um,. Baguette is done, and that was flipping yummy. I loved it. Well, the beef sandwich was delicious. Now I've just got to power through, I don't know, like three kilos of potato. Let's start with the, the regular chips, because those are probably going to be the most boring. Oh, God, look at the amount of potato. It's like doing a Mrs. Beard's Daily Diet again. <laughs> she would love this, apart from the beef and, you know, the onions and the onion rings and pretty much anything with, you know, flavour. Why this many? <laughs> Why? Always the way. And at least there's a, you know, a good variety here, so it keeps things interesting. Alright, the straight cut chips are done. I'm gonna put a little gravy on the curly fries. I know what you're thinking, odd choice, the, uh, the, the beef gravy probably should have gone on the more traditional thick cut pub style chips rather than the you know the more American style curly fries but whatever it worked I think it helped to soften the crispiness of the curly fries really you know there's an old lady coming in she's gonna she's gonna wonder what's going on <laughs> didn't she just pensioners man they, they don't give a they don't give a flip they'll just, <laughs> they'll just stand there just kind of mad dog and you're staring at you like, what are you doing? I think she she got it in the end though, kind of. I need to stop bringing a GoPro which kind of points out away from the table just to show people going like this. Pretty much that's uh, that's the face. Not sure, I mean that would be fun, but I'm not sure it's entirely legal to just put people in my videos <laughs> without some kind of consent, written or otherwise. Anyway, we're about done with most of the potatoes now apart from the uh, Clearly, the, the, the roast potatoes in the bottom right there. Things you'll do for a free dessert. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, the, the free dessert was a cool element, though, because, I mean, I'll do what you, I often do pay-to-play challenges where you don't get the meal free, right? Because I, I'm not in it for the ink, you know? <laughs> I'm in it for the glory and, and, you know, the free desserts. But um, this started out as just it's kind of a, a, a share of platter they do for three people. And then I think a couple of people, you know, just tried it of their own accord. Uh, one person got really close to it, but didn't quite finish, left a little bit of the sandwich, and that was a, a lady, apparently. I think I put some diners off their food. <laughs> yeah, two people just came in, they kind of looked at me, and then like a minute later, got up and walked out. I'm fine, thank you. Ah, oh, the good old check back from the waitress there. Always kind of catches me off guard when I'm in the zone. <laughs> I think these might be the best onion rings I've ever had. But they're really that good. Yeah, these uh, onion rings, I don't know what it was about them, but they were incredible. Really, really enjoyable. They had a kind of, uh, a really kind of thick texture to them. A nice kind of hearty, slightly, almost sweet, a little bit smoky vibe to them and the onion was very fresh in the middle. Um, it, I think it's quite hard to get onion rings right, but when it when the magic happens, it happens. Probably a bit late for the fork now, but... <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, 20 minutes in, almost gave a, an old lady a heart attack and put two diners off eating here forever, probably. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now I'm just getting the, the fork out. I, I don't know why. Probably because it would be a bit much to just dig my hands into some wet beef and onion. <laughs> I, I don't know. But anyway, this uh, this meal, i got to say it was delicious. It's not particularly pricey either. I think it, uh, it, maybe it's like, I don't know the price. I think it's 25, maybe 30 quid to, uh, to order, which I think is pretty reasonable for the amount of food that you get. And uh, yeah, on the whole, enjoyed it. Boxed it off. Uh, that's another one under the belt since uh, lockdown kind of eased. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you at the next one. Two minutes is not half bad. And that was delicious. Lots of work for a free dessert. I could probably just pay like four quid. <laughs> but still, it was yummy. It's not really the kind of place where, you know, gooey glasses are acceptable. So I'm just gonna clean this down a little bit. Yeah, I'm finished. Yeah, can I see the dessert menu? I'm back. Okay. <clears throat> there is no dessert menu. It's it's on a board over there. So I'm gonna go choose something. Probably cheesecake. I always gotta choose cheesecake. There's about five grams of protein in there. Ah, uh, <laughs> crumpy. 